Hey everybody, welcome into Trailblaze Sports, where quantitative analysis meets contrarian algorithms. All right guys, it's Thursday. I have one game tonight, uh, NFL football. So let's just get right into it. Uh, we have the Los Angeles Chargers heading out to the Oakland Raiders to play out there in a the black hole. Um, on the season, the Chargers are four and five. The Oakland Raiders are four and four. So this is a big battle for who wants to get to the playoffs. Um, the Chargers are two and two on the road, whereas the Oakland Raiders are three and one. Now I break down these numbers. Um, points per game, Chargers are scoring 20.3 points per game to you know, the Raiders 22 points per game. And it's kind of priced that way because right now the, um, the line right now is the uh, Los Angeles Chargers minus one and a half, but it started out as Oakland minus one, or maybe, maybe it was minus one and a half, but it's since moved over onto the Chargers. Um, the thing is the points allowed per game, the Chargers are giving up 18.7 points per game, they have a good defense, you guys know that. And the Raiders are giving up 27. When we look at the total yards, Chargers 370 to the Raiders 388. Um, big discrepancy on the ground. Not necessarily in players. Well, Melvin Gordon's good, but it took him a little while to till he finally had a good game last week against the Packers. Uh, they're only giving they're only getting 79.4 yards on the ground. So the Raiders are averaging 136.4 on the ground. Quite a discrepancy. Um, yards given up, you know, Chargers are giving up 338 to the Raiders 440. Uh, well, coming into this game, the last five, the Chargers lost 2013 to Denver. Yeah. Uh, they lost to Pittsburgh 24 to 17. They lost at Tennessee, 23-20. Then they headed out to Chicago, and they got lucky that Chicago missed a field goal at the end of that game, if you remember, a couple weeks ago. And they finally won, 17-16. And then last week, they played an inspired game. Uh, the fact they only scored 17 points, and they played one of the best games of the season against the Packers, 26-11 out there at Lambo West. <laughs> so funny. Look, uh, Raiders coming in last five at Indianapolis. They beat Indy 31-24. Uh, they beat Chicago 24-21. They lost at Lambo in Green Bay 42-24. Um, they lost at Houston. I think that game might have been that Green Bay game. I'm not sure if that was in Lambo. Possibly. That possibly was in Lambo. Um, they played at Houston. They lost to them 27-24. And then last week they beat Detroit 31-24. So when I look at the Raiders, their full schedule, they played a lot of good teams. You know? That's where I, I mean, they played Denver to start the season. Yeah, but then they played Kansas City, Minnesota, Indianapolis. Okay, that combined record is quite good. Then, yeah, Chicago, Green Bay, Houston. Those are all good teams. A good defense, a good offense, good running game, a good quarterback. And then Detroit. So they, they've, they've ran the gauntlet. When you look at Los Angeles... Um, when the Chargers, uh, they played the Colts, the Lions, Texans, Dolphins, Broncos, Steelers, Titans, Bears, Packers. The Raiders are more tested. The Raiders have an excellent run game. Josh Jacobs is doing really, really good. They're averaging in 120 yards. I really like the Raiders in this game. Everybody wants to, the line's moving in Los Angeles' favor. The public likes Los Angeles. It's about like 65% to about 30%, 65-35. That's about where it is in, in favor of the Chargers. It's understandable what they did last week, but I don't look at them like they're on fire right now. I look at the Raiders as being one of the, one of the teams that are starting to gel 
they got the players that can do it. They're going to need turnovers. We're always going to need turnovers in these games where we're taking a an adjusted line or a Megalodon underdog. I'm going to go ahead and advise taking the Oakland Raiders, but we're going to adjust the line right now. Um, yeah, they haven't won by s s eight points or more in any of these games. So I'm looking for, and they've been giving up like in the 20s. So I'm looking for actually a defensive game. Uh, it's on, th or excuse me, um, being on Thursday, these teams, it's a quick uh, turnaround to the next game. <clears throat> you can't expect all these games to be super high scoring. There's going to be some low scoring ones in this one. I, I, I like the Raiders in this game, 23 to 16, 24, 16, 23, 14. I mean, somewhere around in there. I, I like the Raiders by eight, nine points. Pop, could be possibly by 10. So I'm going to advise taking the Oakland Raiders right now. <clears throat> but we're going to adjust the line minus seven and a half at a value of plus 277. All right, guys. On trail for Trailblaze Sports. Thank you for your continued support. Like, share, subscribe, uh, hit, hit the YouTube page, subscribe over there, head on over to the Trailblaze Sports page on Facebook, hit the like and follow the links on over to the Trailblaze Sports group. I drop plays on my days off, I uh, didn't get the one yesterday, but uh, we hit the Virginia Tech on Tuesday, uh, and they were like plus 250 around in there, seven point underdog, uh, beat Clemson. So um, I drop plays on my days off. So if you guys don't see me for any reason, go ahead and check on over there and you might have some winners. All right, then again, I'll trail for Trailblaze Sports. For those of you inside of America, you guys uh, have a great afternoon. Enjoy the rest of your games. For those of you outside of America, from Australia to Romania, Serbia to Poland, Moldova, Ukraine, Austria, all my people out there in Europe, you guys have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for Friday football. All right, then, you guys. Take care.